Echo. Be the echo. Okay, what's up? How's it going out there, everybody? Matt Nuzzo, we're here talking about the Liquid Force Echo, the board that Brandon Scheid won the Triple S on in 2018. So Liquid Force Echo, this is Brandon Scheid's pro model board. That's pretty cool. You got good enough to become a pro model. I remember that kid when he had a ponytail and he was a dough boy and now he's all jacked and makes these awesome boards. So Echo comes in a 142, which is this one. That's the one that Brandon rides. And then a 137, that's one that I would probably ride, and it's also the one that Sensi, his girlfriend, rides. So uh, depending on how well you ride a wake style board, uh, di dictates how big you want it. So like Brandon's, a, you know, like probably 190 pounds. He's built like a truck, and he, uh, you know, has a lot of power. Really technical kiter, big pop, big landing. So he wants a little bit bigger board. I don't ride anywhere near as close to him, so I probably want a little bit smaller board. You're gonna notice this board here is a dedicated wake style board. So what does that mean? means that it has a wake style rocker, okay? You can see a lot of rocker on that board, and that's gonna allow you to have really soft landings. The cool thing that Liquid Force did is they didn't forget your kiteboarding. In the kiteboard, you have to go upwind. To make a board go upwind that has a ton of rocker, if a board has a ton of rocker, it's really hard to go upwind, so you have to be super powered. So what they did is they put a little flatter section through the here, so when you look at that rocker line, it's flatter through the middle, and then really rocker out the tips. That flatter section gives you good drive upwind. Okay, the other few things that they've done is you notice there's no handle holes. You have to ride boots on this board, right? It's a big, heavy, powerful board, right? You wanna have boots so you can really push hard on this board and really max it out. If you're riding foot straps, you're just not gonna get enough out of this board, and one of the boards in the liquid line is gonna be better for you if you're riding foot straps. So don't need a handle if you're wearing boots, and they just took the inserts out because you really just don't need them. It's just a, a extra weight that you don't wanna have. Um, you will notice this board is a little heavier, and it's because it's a thicker board, full polonia wood core, and it's just so when you land, you're not gonna snap this board or that the board's gonna flex out and you catch the nose. It's one of the worst things when you're landing from a hard trick is if you basically flex out the center of the board and the tip grabs and you're hauling the mail and you just smash on your face. It's really bad. So they made this board sturdy, so it's not gonna do that. When you look at the bottom shape, you've got a nice quad concave all the way through that goes all the way through the middle and then a really channeled out uh, tip and tail. It gives you extra grip. So again, most people riding this board are riding it finless. It does come with fins, so if you want to get that extra grip for choppy conditions or just freestyle, you can add those fins on. But a lot of guys are riding this board finless. It does have your P-Tex base, uh, which is going to be great for sliding and going to really help uh, the longevity of this board if you're riding up on the beach. They also use these liquid rails in these things, so like if you hit the rail really hard, you're not like getting a splint or splitting this board. I mean, these boards are built super, super tough. Um, you know, you don't see Brandon go through them, which is saying a lot. Um, you know, he, he gets a ton of boards every year because he's always trying out different little different shapes and tweaks and wood cores and stuff. But, you know, the boards that he's riding last him a long time, which, you know, a lot of guys I know go through a lot of boards. Brandon doesn't, which is a great thing. So uh, the Echo, if you want a dedicated kiteboarding wake style board, this one is the top one out in the market. So check out the Liquid Force Echo. If you want more reviews, you can go to realwatersports.com or give us a call at 252-987-6000.